Hi, and welcome back here on the Senior Network. We're now joined by Natalie Lucas of Optimal Hearing. Good to see you, Natalie. How are you? I just noticed your tan. It's summertime. You must be out having a good time. Working on it on uh, yeah, the weekends. Working, on the weekends, right, <laughs> right. when we can. Right. right. <laughs> well, tell me, I, I say it's summertime, but believe it or not, we're rolling into the fall soon. We sure are. So tell me, what's that mean for you and Optimal Hearing? Well, you know, here we have so many people in the summer that go up and uh, spend their summers up north. Yeah and other homes. And so fall is gearing up for our busy time. People are coming back. Um, people are more willing to get out and do things and leave oh, the yeah. comfort of the air conditioning at home. Right. Uh, so we start getting really busy and it's a great time to just kind of reassess and check in and go have your hearing checked. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. It's always a good time to think about that. Never forget about that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I tell people that if, even if you don't have hearing aids, you should be getting your hearing checked every couple yeah. years just to find out if anything's changing, just like we do our eyes. Right. And not knowing a lot about that is it, once it starts to progress and you start to lose some hearing, I'm assuming that that process, if you don't get it checked, just continues to probably get worse, right? You know, that process can get worse whether you do or you don't get it yeah. checked. Um, what we know is it's not going to get better. Scientists are working on, you know, stem cell therapy and right. things that would regenerate the little nerves in your inner ear. But until that happens, um, once you start having some hearing loss, it is going to either progress or level out, but it's not going to get better. Yeah. And coming through and getting through the back end here of this pandemic, um, I mentioned, you mentioned on the show one time that you had done some research and that COVID actually contributed to some hearing loss. We've got correct? some big studies coming out, and you know, now that we're uh, 18 months, yeah. or 17, 16 months out of since this all started, where there are some reports of people who have had COVID, and COVID is causing hearing loss, it's causing ringing in the ears. Um, and so it's critically important, especially if you got the virus, that you have your hearing checked and be sure that it didn't cause any damage to your hearing, that uh, we've had uh, reports of some people experiencing really bad tinnitus or tinnitus, mm -hmm. which is ringing, yeah. humming, or buzzing in the ears. And so particularly for those people who did catch the virus, uh, whether they became ill or not, it is critical that they come in and have their hearing checked and find out if it caused any damage. That's a very good note. And I know uh, you were talking also earlier today about getting back, concerts are coming back. Yes. I know they hear it at the beach, they're coming back. I, I know at some of the stadiums yes. and so forth. So that's exciting. But there again, that brings up the issue of, of hearing. Yes, you know, um, some of us really enjoy concerts and you go and go to a really loud concert and you leave and your ears are ringing there's a good chance it's done some damage it's always recommended although many of us don't do it but to wear earplugs to wear some little disposable earplugs sure. at concerts and protect your hearing but it is another good uh, sign if you walk out of a concert a big sporting event that was really loud yeah. any kind of gunfire and your ears are ringing get your hearing checked and when you find that, that your ears are ringing, because I've had that happen before too, um, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean you've had damage, correct? It doesn't necessarily yeah. mean you've had damage. It could be symptomatic of other things, including medications, but it could be a sign that there is a, some, yeah. some damage that did happen most often in the high frequencies. Gotcha. Well, as we work a lot with the senior citizens here in our community, um, mm -hmm. are you, I'm assuming by now you're back out pretty much going where you need to go and seeing people face to face, right? We are. Places have opened back up that had, you know, been shut off to the general public. So I'm doing a lot of home visits to our senior living communities sure. and um, we're full up and running, you know, yeah. uh, we're, we're fully back to speed and uh, seeing lots and lots of patients. Great. And for the viewers that may not know, remind us all where you guys are servicing, what areas? So it's Optimal Hearing. We're in Plantation Park over in Bluffton, right behind the Dairy Queen. Also have an office on Hilton Head. We have offices in Varnville, Savannah, oh, all around okay. the area locally as well. Great information, Natalie. Always great to see you too. Good to see you. Thank you. Stay with us. More to come here on the Senior Network.